Pregranatic, in front of me is Keiko Mishiri and I've been checking her Instagram and um, it's a very interesting brand and I wanted to test some of their perfume and look at the bottle, like you can see it's very luxury because it's magnetic. My favorite so far is Endless Summer. This one is amazing, guys. Like, you should test this one. Endless Summer. Released just this year, 2019, it's a balsamic citrus. Uh, this is masculine. This is inspired from the um, Savile Row in London. It's a fuja aromatic, and it was released in 2013. This is, this is actually unisex. Patulissimi. Considered balsamic, warm, spicy. And it was released 2004. Mm, very nice, very sexy. Pew, Pew Depeche. Actually, it's pronounced Po. It's Podipesh. It's powdery, woody, and released 2003. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Really? Yeah. The front? It's so... Yeah. It smells like peach. No, you see, because it's Podipesh, Podipesh, Pesh, Pesh. Musky, woody amber, released 2005. Now I'm testing grenades. Um, it's just fruity. Now, Ume is a floral fruity and it was released 2003. Mm. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's so calming and like you want to smell it more. Now, for the next one which I think I will like because I am a big fan of this fruit. Yeah, very feminine. It's a uh, loku. Powdery and um, to me it's so inviting. A floral oriental, 1998, the year after when Keiko Mishiri was established. Mm, citrus, but I don't know, salty? It smells salty. It's like skin scent. Super fresh. Enjeu de thé. Citrusy coconut and was released 2012. Mm, I like this. And then last one Mogador. I love this so much. It's a musky rose and released 2005. Mm, nighttime strolling around a park or somewhere. It's so coy. Okay, so guys, I will decide which is my top three. Number one is this one. That's my number one. And then this one is my second one. This is my third one. I like this. It's very unique. So. Definitely unisex, in my opinion. And last but not the least is this. Pure Depeche. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bisous.